Good morning, Joy here. It is a Wednesday morning early. Maybe, I don't know what time it is. But <laughs> I have, uh, if it's like last time they came, five men coming to put a door in my bedroom. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about Fit Nice today. Um, it's a program, a system, a company, um, created by a lady named Judy Kessinger, K-E-S-S-I-N-G-E-R. And Judy is a very fun person. She is an excellent teacher. But, I've told you guys before, she doesn't believe in bus darts. <laughs> I have a complete, total disagreement with her on bus darts. But other than that, I think she's wonderful and I watch her almost every single day. What she really excels at is taking a simple pattern, which this is what her, this isn't her pattern, I bought this. But it's a front, a back, and a sleeve. That's her entire pattern. She also has a pants pattern, but I don't have that one. Her entire pattern, front, the back, and the sleeve. But she takes that simple pattern and turns it into hundreds of different garments. And so if you start watching her, you can go to her website, which is Fit Nice, Fit Nice, F-I-T-N-I-C-E, Fit Nice System, Dot com, I believe is where it is, or you can Google it or Google Judy Kessinger and uh, go to YouTube and search Judy Kessinger and her videos will come up and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm going to show you the actual pattern after a while and uh, tell you about it. But right here, I'm going to insert my first creation <laughs> from my new Solaris embroidery machine. Okay, so grab a cup of, and right here, I'm gonna put it in. Hey everybody, Joy here. It is early, early morning, you guys. Like it's 7 a.m. And yes, I have a sinus infection. People were walking by my house. Don't look in here. Um, I have a sinus infection. I went to the doctor Monday, and they gave me some drugs, so I'm getting better. But I wanted to show you my first invention from my new Solaris embroidery machine. Now I just picked a real easy design that was already in the machine because I wanted to see all their little make it bigger, make it smaller, rotate it, turn it upside down, um, change the stitches, all the different things you could do with it. So I just picked a real easy design. And then I wanted to tell you guys, um, I may just insert this and tell you more about what I want to tell you about the pattern later. I've told you a little bit about this company called Fit Nice System. Well, if you want to make something simple and easy, that's what Judy calls it, it's simple and easy. Only thing is, there's no bus dart in her patterns. So I always add a bus dart. In this case, since it's a sleep shirt, and when I sleep, I don't wear the harness underneath it like I have on now. And so, of course, the mountains are in a much lower region. And so I put the bus dart in it to start with. It was pointing clear up here, and I was clear down here. So I decided to just gather the bus dart in, because this is a sleep shirt, okay? Can you see? Sleep shirt! <laughs> I love to sleep in a t-shirt. So if I make something to sleep in, I just make a long t-shirt. So I'll come up close so you can see what it says. Wake up and smell the coffee. No big deal, but learning to use my machine, I started out with an all one color design because I knew it wouldn't take very long and I wouldn't have to change the thread. So I, uh, it's like catastrophe doing this. Um, I didn't know what needle was in it. So I changed the needle. And when I changed the needle, I know you have to push it up all the way. And I tightened it with my fingers. And then I got the little screwdriver thingy that comes with your machine. And I actually tightened it with that. So then I pushed start. And it started to sew this out. It started up here on W-A-K-E. And it got over here to the P. And I heard the machine stop. And I went over to, I was here in the room, but I heard it stop. So I walked over there to see what was wrong. And the needle was stuck down 
and the thread was broken and so I lifted the needle up and only half the needle came up you guys so I'm assuming the point of the needle is down in the machine somewhere I, I emailed Jan and I said oh my god it's a catastrophe I broke a needle and she said oh the needle probably flew off somewhere well if it did I don't know where it's at I haven't gotten it in my foot yet <laughs> but anyway I continued took that needle out threw it away put another needle in and this time I really tightened the heck out of it the first time I just tightened it you know till it felt a little tight but I didn't like <clears throat> because I didn't want to um, break something or strip something or whatever but the next needle I put in boy I tightened that sucker as hard as I could <laughs> and then I finished sewing those out so anyway um, I was going to tell you guys about this very easy pattern if you don't even have an embroidery machine, you don't even care about an embroidery machine, but you're learning how to sew, this would be a wonderful way to start because it's so easy. But I'll tell you about that later. I'm going to insert this someplace in a longer video. I have about five guys coming today to change the door in my bedroom. Why it takes five guys, I have no clue. They like travel together to other jobs or something. Um, but the door in my bedroom, when you open it up, it opens to the left. And I need it to open up to the right so heaven only knows what that's going to cost me but anyway <laughs> they're coming to do that today they already came a different time to do it but the door was wrong that they sent here so now we have the right doors so we're starting over so anyway i'll be back later to talk to you guys about that um fit nice system okay so bye for right now okay i'm back and i guess you know now that i'm a sinus infection oh, i sound horrible but i have some antibiotics so I'm going to be better real soon. So this is it. This is what you get. You pay for it and it comes. It's like $35. And it's like this. It's all folded up like this. And it's in a little folder. And if you open up the folder, it gives you a website address, um, which will take you to some information regarding this pattern. It has um, lots of PDFs, I guess you call them, and instructions. They are not very complete, in my opinion. <laughs> but since I already know how to sew, <laughs> she's very nice about answering questions. And she gives seminars. If you guys have a chance to go to one of her seminars, Fit Nice System, please go to it. Even if you're an advanced seamstress, you'll have lots of fun. She's a very fun lady. <clears throat> she calls herself a big woman. And I'm wondering if the fact that she's big, she's probably two of me, um, is why she doesn't need a bus dart. You know, maybe her shape is such that she doesn't have a hollow chest like I do. But if I'm going to sew a top, it's going to have a bust in it. <laughs> so here it is. This is how simple it is. If you are a new seamstress, oh my gosh, I would highly recommend this because it is so easy. And if, you know, make some pajamas. Start out making some sleeve shirts like I did. I mean, who cares what that looks like other than me. Okay, so on the back it has... How to make a dolman sleeve, it has a, a v-neck, a scoop neck, a facing, and a dolman sleeve. Here is your entire pattern. The front is the back and the back is the front. Oh yeah, when I get through with it, here's mine. This is my front. You can see that my front has a bus dart. My front has added length and added width, <clears throat> and it has a slash here taking out fullness in the neck. It has the slash in the back. Here's my back. My back has a round back, a sway back, and a slash in the neck to take in the fullness right here where I don't see here. Gappy, gappy. Mm -hmm. I take that out. And right here, I always take this out. <coughs> Pardon my cough, you guys. So anyway... You just saw the pajamas, the sleep shirt, the nightgown, whatever you want to call it, that I made. This is what I used to make it with, okay? <laughs> so, that's all I wanted to tell you. I've got to go. I've got to get ready for these, this onslaught of people that are coming to my house. The builder and I are not getting along well at all. He's one of these people that takes offense at everything. Everything. <laughs> I mean, I told the paint, I, when the painter was here, I asked him if he could do something. Can you take this down and fill this in and paint this? When he left, he called the builder guy <coughs> and said, she wants me to do this or that. And so I got in trouble. The builder guy called me and said, if you want something done, you need to call me. I said, well, you weren't here. 
And so no matter what I say to him, he like stops breathing. And I'm like, oh my God, did he die or what? <laughs> it was on the phone. And then he'll start talking. I can tell he had to gain his composure and figure out what to say to me. <laughs> just unbelievable. I'm like, I asked him if I could leave my computer on the table that it's on and just move the table to the middle of the room, cover it up with uh, a drop cloth. And then at night when they were gone, I could just put the plugs back in the wall. And he said, oh, no, 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 I couldn't possibly do that. Oh, it has to be gone, completely gone. Every knickknack has to be gone, so. That's what I'll be doing on Sunday. Anyhow, guys, I would quit talking because my throat doesn't like to talk right now. <laughs> and I think I'm going to work on my Adita Sitar Blue Barn Quilt today because that's something I can do while they're in my bedroom changing the door around. I can be in here working on my Adita Sitar Quilt. So anyway, y'all have a fabulous rest of the day, and I'll be back soon. Bye! Mm-hmm.